This is a Space News update for April 10th, 2008. And in the news today, Commander Sergei Alexandrovich Volkov and Cosmonaut Oleg Dmitrievich Kononenko of the 17th International Space Station crew docked their Soyuz TMA-12 spacecraft with the orbiting laboratory's Piers docking compartment at 8.57 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Thursday, marking the beginning of their six-month stay aboard the station. And there is a slight misalignment uh, in the crosshairs, but uh, it is not significant. Point seventeen right if you could get the and range about seven meters. The right hand board, that'd be great. The crosshairs are aligned. There is a slight roll. Five meters now separating the two crafts standing by for contact and capture of the International Space Station. We are preparing for contact. We have the docking confirmed at 7.57 a.m. Central Time over Kazakhstan. Thank you. The International Space Station now in free drift. Copy, page 85. A textbook arrival for the new residents of the International Space Station, Sergei Volkov, Oleg Kononenko, at their home for the next half year, So Yun Yi, arriving at the International Space Station for the next nine days. Uh, we are at page 85. Proceed with page 85. Close. The visiting vehicle officer now reports that the docking probe has begun to retract. This will initiate the process of hooks and latches engaging one another to form a hard mate between the two vehicles. And With Volkov, a lieutenant colonel in the Russian Air Force, and Kononenko was spaceflight participant Su Yun Yi. She is a South Korean flying under contract with the Russian Federal Space Agency. Yi will return to Earth with Expedition 16 crew members, Commander Peggy Whitson, and Flight Engineer Yuri Malinchenko in their Soyuz TMA-11 spacecraft on April 19th. Expedition 16 launched to the station October 10th. After the hatches opened at 11.40 a.m., the Expedition 17 crew members were welcomed by the Expedition 16 crew, including astronaut Garrett Riesman. Riesman launched the station on the STS-123 mission of Endeavour, March 11th. He joined Expedition 16 in progress and will provide Expedition 17 with an experienced flight engineer for the first part Sergei of its Volkov, increment. Sergei 35-year-old second-generation cosmonaut, first in his new home for the next six months. Do that, Oleg, and um, if you could come back in uh, to perform some additional steps for deactivation later on, that'd be great. Yes, of course, I will do that. South Korean spaceflight participant So Yun Yi now aboard the International Space Station. And flight engineer Oleg Kononenko. The new crew uh, being followed by uh, Expedition 16 Commander Peggy Whitson as they make their way towards uh, the Zvezda service module for uh, congratulatory calls that will be forthcoming from dignitaries gathering uh, at the Russian Mission Control Center in Koryov on the balcony overlooking the ISS flight control room there. 35-year-old Volkov is making his first flight into space. He is a graduate of the Tambov Air Force Academy for Pilots. 
After service as an Air Force pilot, he began cosmonaut training in December 1997. He trained with the Expedition 11 crew and as a backup Expedition 13 crew member. He is the son of cosmonaut Alexander Volkov, who flew three long-duration missions in Soviet and Russian space stations from 1985 to 1992. Kononenko, 43 years old, also is making his first space flight. He is a graduate of the Aviation Institute and worked at the Russian Space Agency's Central Specialized Design Bureau. He began cosmonaut training in June 1996. He trained with the Expedition 9 and Expedition 11 crews. Astronaut Gregory Chamatov is scheduled to launch on the STS-124 flight of Discovery to join Expedition 17 in progress. He holds a Ph.D. in Aeronautics and Astronautics from Massachusetts Institute of Technology. He was selected as an astronaut for the class of 1998. He will be making his first space flight and will replace Garrett Riesman on the Expedition 17 crew. He will also serve on the Expedition 18 crew and two Expedition 18 crew members are expected to arrive next fall to replace Volkov and Kononenko. And that's been a Space News Update for April 10th, 2008. Visit us on the web at dailyspaceupdate.com where you can watch archived podcasts of our updates. And for more space news and multimedia, please visit the Spacearium at www.spacearium.com or spaceflightnews.net.